it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay you guys, I am super duper excited. Y'all was loving those DTF videos, you guys, the hacks, all of that good stuff. Still haven't got my DTF machine yet, but hopefully it's coming. Anywho, today I want to thank Yamation because they done gave us some goodies, y'all. You guys, some Yamation DTF powder white medium. They gave us a whole DTF powder and transfer kit for sublimation. And you guys, to top it off, we have the 100 U thick DTF transfer film. Yes, yes, yes. You heard me correctly. 100 U thick. You guys can see it right here. And if you want to grab yours, check out the links down in the description. And I'm going to go over everything that's within there. But you guys, people have problems. I personally did not. But people have problems with the film going through some of their printers. So this particular video... I will be using my Epson Workforce 7720 that I previously used and I will be showing you guys how this goes through and we'll be doing that sublimation DTF hack again, okay? And this is the image we'll be using today. You can find her on Do Dream or Etsy shop, okay? She's so beautiful. Look at her colors. Love her. So, I'm going to be using my Workforce Epson 7720. And if you guys want, drop down below if y'all want me to use it on my sawgrass as well. But I'll use that for another video. So if you guys have a sawgrass and want me to use it with that, we can use it with that as well. But we're going to be using this 100 U thick film and doing the sublimation DTF hack, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead, get a closer look. Everything is laid out. We'll go over all of those things. I'm going to be using my HTV Runt Auto Press today. So let's just go right ahead and jump right into the video. Let go. Okay, so I just showed you this, but I'm just giving you an up-close look. The 100 U Thick Yamation DTF Transfer Film. Now, at the bottom, y'all, they say a hot and cold peel. I'm scared to do a hot, but we could try it hot another time. This is the package that they gave for sublimation. I love it. I told you earlier, it's white medium powder. They have more film here with the print side on there. So this is a package, and then this is cool, and this is new. Well, at least I didn't have this before. It gives you the sublimation printing instructions, notes, even Q&As, and then it gives you the DTF instructions. Y'all make sure I see y'all out here. Y'all getting us all the way together. So this is absolutely amazing, and I'm so excited. Now let's go ahead and look at everything else so I'm going to stick with Cosmo ink for this particular one because that's the one I did before. I have my mask here and then I have my gloves. It's little particles, so I just want you guys to be safe. And then once again, our film. So this is what we're going to be using today. It's just eight and a half by 11. I want to get the 11 by 17 because you guys know I typically use larger pieces of film. But you guys can read all the instructions there. It's washable all those good things okay so now we have that all set it does come with 60 sheets and then i have my um pan this is what i use my powder in you can use it with however you want to but that's been working really good for me and yeah so let's get into it okay guys so since we use the hgv runt today we are going to be looking at the sublimation printing instructions so we are going to make sure that it's at 284. So I'm going to go ahead and change it because it was at 400. We're going to do 285. Okay, so now we have it all set for the curing of the powder, okay? And then the next time we change it, we're going to do it at 302 degrees Fahrenheit when we actually press the film, okay? Okay, so the heat press is warming up. I have my 100 U thick DTF transfer film. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to pull it out. Remember, the print side is up. So the print side is facing up. 
So depending on what type of printer you have, you have to know what side is your print side, okay? So there's a glossy side and it's kind of a um, matte side. You want it to print on the matte side. You can actually feel the difference. So that's a good thing. You can feel the difference. It's very much so, it's very much so obvious on which side is which but I'm still going to keep it in the pack so that I don't get it confused, okay? So, this side is the print side. So, for my printer, which is an Epson Workforce 7720 converted, I have to face mine down, okay? I'm taking it out. The print side, this is the print side. So, I'm flipping it over, okay? So you guys can see it. Print side down. All right. I'm putting this back on here. Paper size eight and a half by eleven. So I had no issues before and I have no issues now with any of my prints. These colors look nice and deep too. Ooh wee, they look good y'all. Directly out the printer. Since someone's like, why didn't you show it out the printer last? <laughs> I didn't have any type of problems. This looks amazing, amazing. So let's get to get Okay, so you saw a printout. It looks absolutely amazing. Let me hurry up, get my gloves and my mask and get this DTF on here before it dries because ain't nobody got time for none of that. Okay. So I have the powder here. I'm trying to hurry up so I can get it while it's wet. I should have opened it already because it looked like it dried kind of quick. And y'all know I do a lot. So I'm putting a lot on there because that's just how I do it. Okay. I'm going to save this. I'm going to use this later. And let me scoot it back. Show you guys what I'm doing. I'm coating it. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I typically do about like ten or till it's all off. All right. So we coat it so the whole thing can be covered. And then we tap it off. All right. As you can see, can y'all see that? Y'all see it's coated everywhere because this is what's going to make it adhere. So we have it coated. I'm going to make sure all of it is off these gloves. Make sure you're wearing you a mask. Make sure it's all off. Okay. It's coated. Now I'm going to place this up under my heat press. Okay. So let's move over to the heat press. So it can cure. All right. So it's at 285. I'm going to go ahead and open this. I am going to take the image. You see the image here? I'm laying it down. Let me scoot you back so you can see it. So I'm taking the image. The image is on the actual heat press and I'm going to slide it under and I'm going to let it just sit up under there for four minutes okay 285 for four minutes even though it says 284 this only goes to zero to fives okay 
so we are going to there we go so we're going to go ahead and time it there while it's sitting under there i'm going to go ahead and put this back inside of here okay because we're going to reuse this later all right Make sure you're using those gloves. Make sure you're cleaning this up just so you can be safe. I do want you to make sure you're doing that. So I was rushing on here. Anywho, I want to let you guys know that I actually turned it up to 305. And you see that part right there? I wanted it to crystallize a little bit more. So I did it for approximately six minutes, closer to seven minutes than four minutes. All right. I also turned it from left to right so that it can all be evenly distributed of the heat, if that makes sense, so it can cure even. I turned it up a little bit because I wanted it to make sure that it crystallized, and look how great that looks, okay? So that looks really good, y'all. I'm ready to press it. Now, earlier, I did make sure that I got my shirt ready. This was earlier. As you see, the temperature was a little bit different. My shirt is a Bella Canvas shirt. Y'all know I love me some Bella Canvas. It is 100% cotton. So this is the 3001U Bella Canvas shirt. I went ahead. I pressed it. I pre-pressed it. And then I went ahead and lint rolled it. This is all optional, but I just want to make sure my shirt looks really good. So I pre-pressed it. I lint rolled it. And then you're going to see me going ahead and putting, uh, folding the shirt in half and pressing it again. Okay? So that's how I got my shirt prepared. That was earlier. Wanted to make sure everything was all set so we can get back to the actual DTF portion. Okay? So this is what I'm doing. So... Now we see how it looks. It looks really good. The heat press is on 305 for 15 seconds. I do see a little bit of black marks. I'm going to cut around it so this won't get on the shirt. Be very careful not to cut the actual image. But we don't want those roller marks. Now this is the side that's supposed to go down on the shirt remember we have the line in the middle the crease or you can measure it. it's all up to you i'm gonna just put my three fingers here and we're gonna just press it but first let me go ahead and tape it down I am going to go ahead and tape it down and we're going to slide it up under there. Press it 305 for 15 seconds. All right, now the heat press came up. Let's pull it out. Ooh -wee. It looks really pretty. So now you know this is a cold peel. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off of here, set it down so it could cool completely off. Then we're going to come back to it once it's cooled off. Okay, guys, it's completely cool to the touch. Now, drum roll. Here go the moment of truth, y'all. Let's see how it turned out. All right. So we're going to take it from the side and then pull it off. Ooh wee. Okay, okay, okay. It looks good, y'all. It looks good. It feels good. Now I do have a little uh these little pieces like that. I didn't have that before, but those are like her curls. So if you want, you could go ahead and press it again. Just be very careful. Well, parchment paper, I am not going to do that. So I am just going to leave it like this. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So that's completely up to you. I do not want to. I do not want to mess anything up, so I'm going to purposely leave it alone. But you do want to make sure that those little pieces are down, but it looks good. These colors are popping. It feels good. Look how good this looks. Y'all see this? It looks like it almost melted into this Bella Canvas shirt, y'all. 
it looks absolutely amazing now if you want you can cut some of those off or you can press it again but i don't want to mess it up so i'm not about to do anything <laughs> You hear me? I'm not doing nothing to mess this beautiful design up because it looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's come talk about it. You guys, how do how do y'all love this DTF sublimation hack? I absolutely love, love, love it. So here's the final product. Outcome looks amazing. It stretches. Look at that, y'all. Look at these colors. It absolutely looks gorgeous gorgeous okay i love 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 it it feels so good it is the bomb it feels like velvet y'all look it feels really really good so i absolutely love the way that it turned out like i said you can press it again if you want to get the curlies up i did another one off camera and i repressed it at 385 and i want to show you something 385 is too high let me show you why because it actually took some of the color out of it now it still looks amazing so this is pressed at the 385 that i typically do the 305 i'm thinking maybe 325 might be the soft spot because i did press it at 385 here and this was 305 and they both still look amazing because i had to do it y'all i had to i had to press it at 385 to see if it was going to be a difference and you know what the color stayed more with the 305 it took a little bit of the color off with the 385 so what i did was i pressed it with parchment paper at 385 and that's what I think took a little bit of the paper off, of uh, the color off. It looks really good though. So that's what happened. It still looks amazing. So I'm thinking maybe a 325 might be like the soft spot. Might be that, you know, but these both look amazing. 385, 305. Okay. They still, they both look absolutely amazing both of them will work so i think i'm gonna try it maybe around 325 to see how that looks 385 305 okay but these look absolutely amazing yamation thank you so much truly appreciate you guys i think this was a success and if you want to go ahead and try it out, check out the links down in the description. I even have a couple coupons for you. Such a success. And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, do dream on as a handle. TikTok, do dream on as a handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You here? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.